Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, we going to present the NRS assignment that being given by Dr. Magan. Uh, our group member is me, Ili Nadia. I'm going to explain about web server and Muhammad Aman, I will explain about database and the firewall. Let's get started. Uh, to uh, first step is install Apache, which uh, by installing, we go to the root first. Okay, from here we install the Apache. Then installing, start the Apache. And uh, we'll add the file uh, HTTP service into the firewall. Successful. Reload the firewall. Then we're going to verify it in the uh, web server. It should be got same as this one. So how to verify it is by Uh, insert your local host address, IP address, and then enter. This is proof as uh, the Apache is start. Then, okay, after start the Apache, we install the PHP that support for Apache. Uh, this also can install Python, but I prefer PHP. Uh, installing by uh, PHP, PHP MySQL because we're going to use the database. PHP PDO because my PHP is using PDO modules. Okay, then installing, you can go to check the, uh, the, the versions in the web browser. is var www html is our root for apache I'm going to enter this space okay then you start the apache back here and you can see the versions here this is the info about the uh, we installed the Apache the PHP all here next going to start to create HTML from here building the front end application. Uh, first, we make a directory, which is called public. And 
l slash public then we go into the text files which is the index.php enter so the coding I already uh, here I'm going to copy the coding and paste it here. Saved. Okay, next step. I'm going to do the folder that going to store header and footer. Uh, this is the folder. Or so I this the folder template and I'm going to do the enter the X files. I'm going to copy from my folder that I already saved it. I'm going to copy here. Copy. Paste here. Control saved. the footer Oops, it's not copying. Yep, it's to copy. Proceed. And file. Yeah. Then you can to check it here. Our file is called public and then index.php. But the footer is not here yet. Yet second. No, but that's a footer. Tu salah ya. Aku bila aku buat ya welcome to no website tak ada. Template header masuk dah. Templates to fill the page. Is templates. Oh, got it. Why? Mm, for the footer, uh, aku ulang balik. Masuk balik. Pergi balik kat header. Laju lah. Bila aku scroll tu jadi laju. <laughs> Stress pula aku. Sini. Ke sini. Uh, uh, balik kat sini. Uh, kat header. Ayat kat sini. Uh. Okay. 
Okay, we create the header. Template should be in the public directory. Template. Uh, we need to create the uh, directory first. Okay, there they are. Then we store the header here. This directory. Then I'm going to copy the coding. Then, oops, I'm going to do the footer at the same directory. Copy coding. Template. Then paste it here. Saved. Then it should be. Yep. There's this. This is the uh, header that I put. This is the footer. And this is the home page of the website. Next, I'm going to create the page for create and a read page. Okay. From here, uh, I don't have to do the directory because I'm going to save in the public uh, directory, uh, the public folder. So I just go to get it. For HTML public, then create.php. The coding that I have in here. and save it. Let's see if there are any. Yep, it's here already. But it's not uh, in, in place yet. So we need to implement this style, which is CSS file. Uh, so here, I create the directory first. file directory r then slash the uh, oh sorry it's not style should be mm, it should be css Uh, 
three created put this out dot CSS. Oop. Copy the coding to add. Here, here, yep, here. Oops. Copy. Paste it here. Control saved. Let's see the difference. Refresh. Yep. It's already in place. Back home. So we're going to create read page. page should be in the public folder slash read the PHP so I'm going to copy the coding here Then in the our website should be going to read share, but it's not going to display yet because uh, there is no database. Then Iman will start set up for the database. Go Iman. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Iman and. I want to create the database first. Firstly, we need to install the uh, database, which is Maria database. The database need to install in the client first and then after that uh, we need to install to the server. Okay after done installing the install the database to remotely from server to client and then we need to enable the Maria database. Okay, was enabled. Start the Maria database. Okay, the was started and then using a common MySQL SQL installation. Current password for root. Enter for none. Just enter it. Set the root password. And the root password is not set. Yes. Okay. 
Yes. Is allow login like remotely. Yes. Remove test database and access to it. Yes. Reload privilege table now. Yes. Okay, after that, we are using the SKU. From this side, we need to create the user. identify the password okay the user and the password have been created so user privilege on public And then we need to flush it. Sorry about the error. Okay, after that, we, after the flush and we exit it. Okay, we need to use the firewall CMD to add the MySQL into firewall to access from the other VM. Successful. After that, we need to reload it. The reload is successful. Okay, after finish in the client uh, VM, we go to the server VM. We install the MariaDB2. Same as from the client. Okay, finish installation.
after the Maria DB was start, we use the MySQL MySQL secure installation. Allow root login remotely. Yes. Remove test database and access to it. Yes. Reload privilege table now. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. My SQL. The password is COVID nineteen. Okay. From this interface. We copy this the command. Okay, for for the interface, for this interface, it shows uh, can access from the client database. After that, we need to create the database. The database change and create the table user.
key after that. Uh, we set sebul. To connect network to the database. Okay, we are done. Okay, we are done the accessible. After that, we create the, we add the PHP coding database connection so that the database can save into database and shows the display for read.php. Okay, before this, Eli just create the website only with HTML coding without the database connection. Now, I need to add the PHP coding database connection so that the data can save into database and shows the display for the read PHP. Okay, now we are using the gate. I need to erase the coding and then copy the new one. And paste it. Save. Now I need to change the coding from the crypt.php Okay, I need to change the coding from the file read.php. all the coding
paste the new one and save. And now I need to change the coding in the file read.php. Jedit. Copies all this. Copy. And paste it to the new one. Okay, now we can test the website. Firstly, we need to create the user. Submit. Okay, Ely successful edit. Back to home. And now we can show the display from the read page. Ely Nadia has been has added to the database. We test the second one. I mine successful edit into the database back to home. It, yeah, the number three is I mine successful edit into the database. In the desktop VM using the server IP address to show in the user interface. The IP address is 10.0.2.12. Now we can show the interface. After that, uh, we can configure the firewall. Firstly, we need to install the HTTPD mode SSL. Eh? <coughs> Firstly, we need to install the HTTPD. Okay, done installing. After that, we need to start and enable the HTTPD. And then uh, make sure the IP tables and IP6 tables are must. And the firewall service is enabled and can running. Okay, 
the firewall is activated. At the configuration, we change to the permanent. In the public, we in public services, we need to find the HTTP. Uncheck the HTTP. After that, check the HTTPS. Option, reload the firewall. So the HTTPS was configured after <coughs> after mask the IP table and IP6 table, uh, need to restart the HTTPD. Okay, the HTTPD was restart. Okay, we need to try the HTTPS. Enable to connect. And then. Now we need to try the HTTP after the firewall config. HTTP enable to connect and then we can try the HTTPS uh, we can see the HTTPS as has enabled and shows the web page we try again Aiman was has added into the database. Okay, thank you from us. Uh, my name is Mama Aiman Bianwa, and my partner is Ilina Davinti Karim. Thank you.